turn smack rapper smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper With all this wild shit happening on stage, all the videos getting out and you did the freak show, it, it doesn't surprise me that C. Dolores Tucker, Calvin Butt start catching on and deciding that you're obscene out the gate. Yeah, that was that was before I started doing freak show and peep show. Yeah, no, that, that came yeah. that came mm -hmm. later. it came later on, but but freak what, show and peep show was almost like a middle finger to them. Exactly, exactly. Right. Well, I, I mean, the peep show I started doing that because uh, BT did have a a, a network called Beyond Action Cut. Paper Action Pay Per View, and so they ain't know what to do with it, and I just asked Bob Johnson, let me do some uncut shit on there because everybody was doing a an adult version of a video, right. you know, but they were playing in the club. So then I said, let me take that shit and, you know, uh, create it, create a show around that, but then interview people like y'all doing right here. So, you know, I would interview Akinelli, right. you know, niggas Lil who Kim. had wild shit in their song. I interviewed Lil' Kim, you know, I interviewed uh, Jay-Z uh, before he even, got big, you know, uh, Biggie asked me to interview him. He was like, yo, the dude gonna be the next dude, you feel me? Right. And so I ended up interviewing him. That's why you see the famous video of the two girls eating each other out and him sitting on the couch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, you know, even before interviewing him there, and so, you know, I interviewed Pop and all them dudes, Pop, when he first got out of jail. Big everybody. So I was doing that show on there, but describing what you say on the record. Mm -hmm. So like Lil' Kim, you know, you got this hardcore raunchy record going on, and then I create a whole harem around her. motherfuckers fucking and shit. And I'm actually, <laughs> you know, because you know, if you ain't really bought that life, I'm going to find out. Uh, oh, you feel me? Uh, all right. I'm going to find out. So it's like, hey, I can have it. Come on in. You know, put him in the mouth. Okay. Get I can have some. <laughs> Hold on. Wait one minute. Hold on. That's right. my nigga. Uh, I was like, no, no, no. Get yourself together. You need to go get yourself together. You know, they want to, you know, you seen him put it in one of your mouth. <laughs> so I used to do shit like that. You know, right. I just having fun. What was but your it, best interview you would say? The best interview, uh, the best interview was the pop interview. That was the most, that was the most intense because I had the little beef with Death Row. We was coming off of that because it was, they did a disc record, we did a disc record, we had a big fight in Atlanta and everything. You know, people probably see it on, on BMF, uh, the last episode, they got this whole thing of me in Atlanta and the fight that happened at uh, Jack the Rapper. Right. What was which, it over? Which it, had, which it actually, two uh, records, you know what I'm saying? My, my old thing was, you know, my old thing was, uh, you know, these, you know, you know, back then, Suge was tough guy. Suge, you know, mm -hmm. touched up a few people. Right. You feel me? And a lot of dudes were scared of Suge, you know, and so, uh, uh, you know, so when we started doing the, the the back and forth, the beef records, then it was like, hold on, you know, because you know I'm I'm not, you know, I'm not no type of guy that you know, you know, I ain't finna run for nothing. You, you feel me? And so, right. uh, not like a lot of these other dudes, they industry dudes, and they really ain't like that. Right. You know, I know where I came from, but I ain't want to really go back there. But, but what exactly did it start over? It was just records. You know, Snoop did a record, we did a record, um, and that was it. You know, they, they said something on the record, and then we said something, and then next day, no, uh, it was like, all right, but we was, again, you know, you know, real street nigga shit, you trying to squash the shit before it go there. Mm. So we tried to squash the shit before we get to Atlanta. And uh, and uh, the people who was running the convention, Jack the Rapper, they ain't wanna, I was like, look, let us have a sit down because this shit is gonna go left. And they were like, nah, I ain't gotta do no sit down and all that. And then the shit eventually went left. Yeah. You Did know, I eventually patch it up? Though? Yeah, we patched it up. That's good. Yeah, That's yeah. Good. They came uh and I invited them down to the Super Bowl uh in Miami. And then it was it was really, really, it was me patching it up for pretty much a large part of the East Coast. Right. Because my niggas was niggas from New York. And I was, you know, they were like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We can't really 
That we was when feeling the that. East so and the West Coast shit was going on. Yeah. Right. So we was like, hey man, you know, like, so I kind of squashed the shit with a whole bunch of dudes, you know, in in that in that suite at the Cincinnati Bengals in the 49ers game. Who else was right. there? It was quite a few people. I don't know if I want to tell who was in that motherfucker. A, the, the beef was squashed. It's, you can right. see who it was. Well, some people who were in federal prison right now. Right, 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 <laughs> so right. you know, it was, it was, it was, you know. So I'm like really broken and shit. I'm like, hey man, we squashed, but then we gonna squash all this other shit too. You feel me? And so you know, it was niggas that they told stand the fuck outside. You know, we were like, nah, nigga, you can't come in. You ain't on that high level. Mm. You feel me? It was a certain certain people, mm -hmm. you know, that could be in that that room at the time, and so kind of we worked it out, you know, uh, kind of broke it in, and then well, we was cool after that. Your beef was first though. I think a lot of people before the East Coast West Coast, which was mainly Pac and Big, Big. Mm -hmm. Snoop had an early record with Dr. Dre dissing Luke. Yeah. It was an early, early record. He he dissed a couple people on that, but you was one of them. And I never could figure out why. Like, I, I why? never, I never, I, you can never figure out like how do you beef with that guy, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, what's, yeah, what's he the just, beef? Yeah, how do you yeah, find just, a way? Like, why, 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 why we just fun and he liked the bitches? Right, like, 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 why? Like, like starting, why? It's like starting a fight in a strip club. Like, yeah. how, but how, that's why I'm asking. Was it? Was there something else that happened? Was I, it, let me tell you, yeah, bitches or something? Was no, going hey, no, we, ain't nobody <laughs> bitches. Somebody baby lost we'll on the bus. Just, I don't even know. I mean, it, it just became. I, I don't know. We probably said some slick shit. First and then they said something, uh, but at the end of the day, man, me and shit, me and fucking Snoop, we like fucking best friends right That's now. Good. That's good. You know, I like that. Suge and I'm cool with Suge. You know, we locked up. I mean, I was trying to, uh, and then I was trying to be the one who broke the, the the shit with Pac and Big. You know, like if you even look at the the peep shows I did, I'm sitting there talking about no nah, nigga, you know, and then Big. You know, a hey, big wouldn't even want to get into none of this shit. Well, I'm talking to him like, yo, big like, look, man, I ain't got no beef with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Me and big was real, real, real tight. Right. And so he never had no beef with it. And, you know, it was like, you know, Pop, look, you need to calm the fuck down. Because I knew Pop when he was with Digital Underground. Underground, right. Yeah, Pop. Digital Underground was pretty much the closest thing to what you was doing. Exactly. So we toured together a lot. Right. And he would end up in my room. We talk a bunch of Black Panther shit and all that. And that's why you see him with a lot of my paraphernalia on, you'll see him with a loose scarf and shit and mm. a bandana and everything like that, a t-shirt. That was that was my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I I figured I'd be want to be able to have a conversation with him. You know, right. look, man, this shit getting, getting a little crazy. Cause then I would tour with Big too and see the bullshit that was going on, you know, before he would come on stage, you know, it was a lot of, right. Either big fans or Pac fans, it was, that shit was crazy out there on the road. Mm. You feel me? So, you know, dealing with all that, you know, trying to just squash shit. Be that's when I became Uncle Luke mm. to everybody. You know, <laughs> Uncle Red starts screaming my name. Uncle Luke on on uh, on the radio yeah, here. Red and, Alert. Yeah. Shout out to Red Alert. He told us that story. Yeah, yeah. And so I became Uncle to everybody, just trying to be the motherfucker that, you know cool off everybody. That's good. How, That's good. how nervous were you when you found out that like the US government was beefing with you? This hot book, trap trapper turned smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.